It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Labor Day Monday, September 5th. I'm James Spann. A pretty quiet weather pattern setting up for the state this week. What about the tropics? What about the first sign of really cool air for the fall season? Let's go in there and check it out. We'll start with the upper look at 500 millibars. That's about 18,000 feet off the ground. And that old upper high just doesn't want to leave where we are, but we notice a deep cold trough back in the northwest United States. That's a sign of the time. Some of our friends up there are getting some snow on this Labor Day. Starting off the day in the 60s and 70s, Fort Payne looking pretty good. They've got 63. Feels a little like fall there, but Birmingham at 72. We'll expect highs around 90 in most spots today. Yeah, check this out. The county's in uh, purple over Montana. That is a winter weather advisory for the high elevations because of snow. And down into Nevada, those are uh, frost advisories. So again, that's just a sign of the times. Other than that, fairly quiet around the nation. Severe storms possible later today from the uh, high plains up into parts of the Midwest. Pretty much the same area tomorrow. And on day three, a marginal risk for Iowa and some of the adjacent states. Boy, look at this. It looks pretty quiet this week. This is the rain for the next five days, ballot through Saturday morning. Basically nothing for most of the state, just a few widely scattered storms near the Gulf Coast. The big number is way up north. And off in the tropics, Hermine has been post-tropical for a while. Uh, producing rip currents and rough surf, but really it's been far enough offshore to prevent major problems. Thank goodness for our friends up in the Northeast, that thing's going to kind of loop around and ultimately head out. We've got tropical storm warnings for parts of the New England coast, including Cape Cod. But again, the main issue is going to be the rip currents and the uh, rough surf. Then we've got that little uh, impulse that's near the Windward Islands. And that thing will be moving through the Caribbean. Just uh, it's been coming across the Atlantic, came off Africa, you know, last week. It's been fighting very dry air. Uh, tropical models, most of them do not develop this. The ones that do try and bring it up toward Cuba, the band set. And again, I'm not so sure this survives. The GFS ensemble guidance, most of the members uh, dissipate this in a few days. And the few models that do develop it keep it at tropical storm strength so we'll see it's going to be fighting sheer and dry air it doesn't look good and uh, this is invest 92 by the way just something to watch other than that the tropics are pretty quiet all right model fans here's the gfs the 06e run valid today at uh, one o'clock and look at the cool if not cold trough in the west producing the snow down into montana but it's the 594 ridge here and down below that, the day should be quiet, partly to mostly sunny. The chance of a shower, just tiny. Most of you will be dry today. The high around 90. And that's going to be the theme for the week. Tomorrow, low 90s. The sky mostly sunny. Wednesday, same thing. Mostly sunny with a hot afternoon. How about mid-90s? We all know it can be hot in September. Come on. You've lived here for a while, probably. Thursday, same thing. Dry, hot, mostly sunny. And Friday, I promise we're showing you different maps they just look the same so every day this week low to mid 90s mostly sunny the chance of a shower very tiny it's a dry pattern now saturday as the weekend begins moisture begins to increase we might mention a few widely scattered showers but probably nothing beyond that and the same thing on sunday so a mixture of clouds and sunshine widely scattered showers the Upper Ridge weakens, heat levels back off, I'd say highs 87 to 90 for the weekend. And this is a week from today, Monday the 12th. We've still got a flat ridge here. A weak surface boundary seems to be north of the state. So again, there could be a few hit and miss, scattered storms, upper 80s. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is uh, the 14th Wednesday of next week. Pretty good looking uh, short wave off to the west, and that could kick up some showers and storms around here if that verifies. Numbers, yeah, mid-90s this week. If you're looking for fall weather, forget it. 
this week. Next week, though, numbers come down with highs dropping back in the 80s and lows dropping back into the 60s. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog, a holiday schedule, so one video today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. The next video here early tomorrow, we'll be back on the two-a-day schedule by then. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.